Hello guys, so here's a Moscow prepper and comms prepper on a Russian shooting range. Ordered a hundred rounds for the AK just to see what it's like. Most likely gonna be fun. Looks quite normal. Don't know if they will let us uh, film inside the range, but we'll try anyway, right? Contrary to popular belief, this is comms prepper. You can shoot an AK-47 in Russia, so pretty neat deal. <laughs> no problem. It's a little expensive, but hey, it's Saturday. Hello, guys. We are at the range now. Smell that. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Boxes of ammo there, I can see. Here's the safety rules. Yeah. Codex Kraktichiskoi Streli but yeah, and this is what you have to do and not do here. Okay. Box of <coughs> bend ammo there. Nice and setup. That's quite all right. Chronograph over there. Smells good. Smells good, yeah. Smells of cordite. It's always nice. How far is that range? 50 meters? 50 yards or something? 50 yards. A nice range. I can almost not see down there. So that's our instructor down there. We have a wild piece of that also. So we're shooting paper, I guess. We have some steel targets over there. So for uh, about a dollar twenty-five a shot, <laughs> seven point six two. But that includes the eyes and the ears, and the rental of the weapon and the targets, and your own safety range master. Really? So. Based on what you're paying for ammunition in the States, over here in Russia, it's about 20 cents more, but you can still do the same thing. Yeah. And at the end of the day, you don't have to clean it. <laughs> 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 this is what we're going to shoot. Sega 104s. I'll take the black one here. You see? So, I'll load up the mag. Steel case ammo, as comes further says. Don't know the brand, it's not Wolf. This is the comms prepper with Moscow Prepper, shooting the AK 47s in Moscow, Russia. He's shooting target number one. I think I'll save the... the Me and Combs Prep are checking the targets now. Yeah. So, where the hell? I'm over there. Or what? No, you shot number one. I'm shot number one. I shot number two. Clearly, I'm, I'm not a good th shot. Then you shot number three. That's pretty decent. I shot number four, but I'm a little too high, but not bad. Oh, but he's gone anyway. So one, two, three, like this right here. Six in the black. On the field. And three, three, three in the black. And Combs Prepper is flying a little. So me and Combs Prepper is now changing mags uh, or rifles actually by getting this older looking. Here yeah, with the Bakelite. Ah. That's a tooler make. Daniel's you? My gun home, Daniel's descent. No. In uh, Virginia. Uh uh says yeah. Yeah, pull no pull. Cool. I'm just good. This is our range master. Very nice guy. I think we will probably be here again at some point. Not unlikely.
Okay, this is the Kaz Prepper with the Moscow Prepper. We just finished up at the, the rifle range here in Moscow, Russia, shooting the AK-47. We spent about $120 for, what, about an hour and a half? I don't know, we, we, we went fast, right? Yeah, but it was pretty we good. Went fast, but it was really good, nice people. 50 shots apiece. Yeah. And uh, no hassles, got in, did some shooting. Yeah. Almost close to the house, uh, not a bad trip. <laughs> yeah. And Moscow Prepper shot better than I did. Ah, uh, yeah. So. But you, but you was, but the, the one with the wooden start was a bad rifle, I think. Because you had to aim really low. The black one was spot on. No such thing as a bad rifle. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not bad, but the okay. sights were strange. Yeah. So Moscow Prepper is going to go home and edit all this. Yeah. And as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. This has been the Moscow Prepper and the Cons Prepper. I like also. <laughs> Hello, guys. So I'm almost home from the range with the Cons Prepper. Just want to, to give a shout out to Combs Prepper if you don't already know his channel. You should definitely check it out. This is also uh, mostly to check out my camera again because I thought the thing it was like busted up on the shooting. It didn't want to open and so on and so on. So it's just a camera check. But if you don't know Combs Prepper and interested in uh, Prepper communications, check out his channel. I'll link to it down there